me, Jennifer, Blonde, Bunny, and today is going to be probably the funniest, funniest video. <laughs> well, there's my Christmas tree. That, that's my Christmas tree. It's actually a thing on the wall, but it's not my real Christmas tree. My grandparents sent it to me. See, it's really easy. I recommend it. So, anyways, today we are going to be, come on. Okay, one second, ladies and gentlemen. My setup is kind of, I like literally just woke up, so I'm not that ready for making a video, but I had to make one. Now, we're talking about a very funny story about when I was a little kid, about five or four years old. That's why the drawings aren't so good. I made a book called The Secret Style. Yes, that's a pretty bad drawing. I know, I literally, that's how I make people. I just draw a head, and then I make legs. It's called The Secret Silo. So my dad, James the author, Jennifer the illustrator, with my horrible handwriting, because I was a kid. Because that's my dad's name is James. So, I'm going to read it. <laughs> Let's get right into it. It's been one minute. Well, okay, whatever. It was a dark and stormy night. The girl woke up in a strange place. How? Who was the girl? It was a girl. <laughs> she appeared to be in some sort of secret silo. She walked up to the spiral staircase, but it was locked. Wait, it was locked? Locked at the top. Anyways, here's my pictures. That's what I did. It's like, those are the feet, and then that's the hands, and it says hi. That's really like a welcome sign that says hi instead. So, next one. This is not copyrighted because I wrote this. No one else did me. I did. It's not copyrighted. Yay. I know my hair is curly. I had a big braid with it yesterday. That's why. So next, she went down the stairs and checked the door there. But it was locked too. How did she get there? The last thing she remembered was she was in a bed trying to, but she was in bed trying to get to sleep, and she saw some lights outside her window. She also remembered hearing a strange humming sound outside her window. Her window, her window, yeah, all of her window. And I wrote a little picture and it says, mm. "Oh wait, that's." Okay. Um, <laughs> that's weird. Next, she opened the window and she saw a mysterious orb. Okay, it was hovering right outside her window. She climbed out the window and looked up at the orb. The orb slowly started moving. It seemed to be heading towards the wild woods. <laughs> I'm guessing it's woods. <laughs> be heading towards the wild woods. Oh yeah. She followed the orb into the woods. Out of the corner of her eye, she could see a strange creature scurrying about. And this is like creatures that are literally green and blue. There's the orb, the blue orb, and then there's like that green thing. And then there's the green creature. I don't know. Okay, next page. Oh gosh, this is a big page. She continued to follow the orb through the woods. After going through an old winding path, that haven't been used for decades. Decades, that's 10 years. More than 10 years. She came across a clearing. The orb stopped there. In the middle of the clearing was the Council of Gnomes. They were chatting about important issues of the day. Needless to say, the young girl was astonished by the sight up before her eyes. This is when it gets funny. When the gnomes became aware of the girl's presence, they immediately stopped talking and looked at her. Yeah, I have some stuffed animals here. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I don't have a gnome, but I wish I did. Okay. The girl said, what are you gnomes discussing? This is funny. The apparent... My dad wrote this, by the way. The apparent of the head, head of the council said, we are working on an... On a, unifying or onifying theory of everything. A theory of everything? Come here, I'm going to we're working on the theory of everything right there. Okay. Um. Oh, cool. Next one. What are you doing here? The girl replied. I am just trying. Wait. What are you doing here? The girl replied, I am trying, just trying to get out of this crazy place so I can get back home so I can go to sleep. 
Of course. Then help me play. Are you not curious to answer the theory of everything? <laughs> the girl said, Well, now that you mentioned it, yes, I am. Well, the gnome said, Well, if you want to know the theory of everything, it is going to cost you. We are not a bunch of... <laughs> really? You can read this for yourself because it's so funny. I don't want to read it. Here, um... Um, where are we? Right here. In the third line. Okay. This is made out of paper, by the way. What? Here we go. Okay, so it says, We... On we right here. We are not. Yeah. So it says pay ten dollars to Jennifer and James the rest. And here's the picture. Like that's the lips. Like that's the end of that story. Um. Okay, so we're gonna have this new thing called the penguin of the day. Now, today I'm gonna have a little penguin, and it's gonna be cute. And every day, one of the penguin of the day. Since I don't have a picture of any penguins right now, I'm just gonna get my little penguin right here. This is our penguin of the day, Penny the penguin. Literally, I have boxes of stuffed animals, so we'll keep going until I have more penguins. This is our penguin of the day, Penny. I don't know why her feet aren't white and her nose isn't white, but that's fine. I mean, yellow. Um. So anyway, bye guys. Hope you enjoyed it.